हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पार्ट टू ऑफ बीटेक गुरुज लॉजिकल रीजनिंग वीडियो सीरीज ऑन डॉट सिचुएशन इन पार्ट वन वी सॉ हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द लॉजिक एंड प्लेस वन डॉट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड वील इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ डॉट्स ओके सो इफ यू सी द क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज टू डॉट्स एंड द कंडीशन आर द सेम ओके द क्वेश्चन इज द सेम यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द फिगर आउट ऑफ वन टू थ्री एंड फोर Uh, which satisfies the same conditions of placement of the dots as in figure X. So if you see in figure X, there is one dot which is placed in the area that is covered only by the triangle and the and the circle. It doesn't involve the square. And the second dot is placed in a in a manner that uh, it is placed in the area which is covered by the triangle and the square, and it doesn't involve the circle. Well, let me see which of these figures. Uh, are similar okay have similar conditions so in figure 1 do i have some area where the circle is not present and the overlap is between the triangle and the square of course i do i do have that okay so let me let me just plot this out so this is my triangle and this is my square and my Circle. Okay, this is my circle. Okay, so that's some yeah, somewhat similar. This is the first figure. Okay, the first figure. So of course I have some some area where the circle is not present. Okay, this entire area, and do I have some area where uh, which is not really covered by the square and is only covered by the triangle and the circle? Of course, I have that area on this side. So I can place one dot here, here or here, wherever. Which is covered only by the triangle and the circle, and I'll place another dot over here or here, okay, wherever the area that is covered by both the triangle and the square and not covered by the circle. So over here also, if you see diagrams two, three, and four, there is no such place where I can place both of these dots, okay, which will satisfy the conditions. There is no place in either of these figures uh, that is covered only by. the square and the triangle and leaves out the circle or which is covered by the circle and the triangle and leaves out the square so my only viable option is the first diagram so i will select that now let's increase the difficulty level even more slightly let's play with three dots now okay so again i have a figure in front of me okay i have a figure in front of me uh let me quickly draw this figure so i have an inverted triangle over here and there is a square there is a square over here and i have a circle okay so let me go ahead and draw a circle okay this is this is my figure and there is one dot here there is one dot here and there is one dot here okay so my conditions are pretty clear i have to select a figure where there is some area which is covered exclusively by the triangle and put one dot there then i want an area which is covered by the triangle and the square but it doesn't fall within the uh, within the perimeter of the circle and i want one area which is covered by the square and the circle and is not covered by the triangle and i'll put one dot over there so if i see the first one there is no area which is covered only by the circle and the square okay where the triangle is not present similarly in the second one again it is a superscribed circle or the square is perfectly inscribed into the circle so again there is no area where uh, you have the square and the circle present or rather you do so there is no area where you have the square and the triangle present okay the square and the triangle which is not covered by the circle the third one there is an area where only the triangle is present okay so let me just draw that one also quickly uh okay so i have i have a square and i have a circle that is inscribed into the square 
and I have a triangle. Okay. I have a triangle. Okay, so much. This is my figure. Okay, I think I have got it right. So, this area is covered only by the triangle. I can put a dot over here. Uh, then I want an area which is covered only by the square and the circle and not the triangle. So, square and the circle, yes, this side, this side and at the bottom. I can place the dot anywhere. So, I will place the dot over here and then I want some area that is not covered by the circle and is covered by the square and the triangle. So, not covered by the circle but covered by the square and the triangle, I am going to put it over here. I can put it either way. So, it satisfies the conditions. 4 also if you see, it does not really satisfy all these conditions. So, I am going to go ahead and select option C as my answer choice. And this is how we solve dot situations. So, I hope this video was helpful for you and you will be able to answer questions on dot situation in the examination. I will see you again with another topic. So, see you then.